Welcome back to Cyberpunk 2077. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to get some really amazing weapons. Some of these are going to be legendary weapons that you can unlock early in the game, as well as some iconic and epic weapons that are going to make your early game experience in Cyberpunk 2077 into a pure monster. Now, I do hope you all enjoy today's video, and uh, I really do recommend unlocking some of these weapons as early as you can, because it's going to cost you substantially less eddies if you know where to get these early in the game, and you'll be able to upgrade them as you play through Cyberpunk 2077, rather than having to spend all of your eddies on these in the future. So I do hope you all enjoy this, and without further ado, let's get into it. Now, one of the first items that you're going to want to get is actually in your apartment building. And you're going to want to get these legendary weapons as early as you can, because the earlier you get them, the cheaper they're going to be. So once you get to street cred level 11, you're going to go to Coach Fred here. And Coach Fred does have a few other legendary items as well. He's got the legendary baseball bat, which is 35,000 credits. This has 441 DPS. It's a blunt weapon. Uh, with some pretty good stats and it can cause bleeding as well. But the one that I really want to get here is the Legendary Katana. Now this one is 32,867. This one is locked behind the Street Cred level 11. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and pick up this bad boy right here. Now as I mentioned, as you level up, all of the equipment that you can buy in the game will level up along with you and will become more expensive over time. So you can upgrade these weapons on your own too and you can get in at a lower investment if you get it earlier in the game. Now this sword does a ton of damage. It's got 427.1 DPS, and has 106 to 130 physical damage, negative 5.81 stamina cost reduction while attacking, which allows you to attack more. Uh, then we've got the crit chance increase, the increase to your crit damage, and then the 20% bleeding chance as well. So you could strike an enemy, cause them to start bleeding, and then move on to somebody else and just let them bleed out. Now, melee combat in general isn't necessarily great, but I do have to say it is incredibly satisfying to just charge through entire packs of enemies and just tear them apart with the katana. Especially if you have a build towards it, it's just a lot of fun to be able to just tear through everything. You don't even have to aim at anything, you just plow through all of your enemies. You do a ton of damage, and I highly recommend picking up this katana once you get enough street cred for it. Now, if you pick up any of these legendary weapons from the shops early in the game to save yourself some eddies, then you're going to end up wanting to upgrade them in the future. To do that, you're going to need to go to your crafting tab, then you're going to go to upgrades, and then when you select the legendary items, you're going to see all the components required. Now, you don't get a massive boost for each upgrade, but it is going to add up over time. Uh, so you can see here, if we upgraded it now, we'd get uh, just a little bit more damage up to 469.9. And you're going to need a lot more of these crafting components. I'm working on a video to find locations to farm these components up. I've already found a good location for this one here. Um, but I'm going to have a video on, on that very soon. So definitely make sure to keep an eye on that for upgrading all of your gear. And if you do have any tips or tricks that you want to share with me that I can share with the community, then definitely make sure to hit me up on Discord or Twitter with anything that you find. Another legendary weapon that you're going to want to try and get earlier on in the game is going to be right here in Watson. If you zoom in along the ocean here, you're going to see a weapon shop. Now this weapon shop is going to have a few legendary weapons, but one of which is going to be locked behind having street cred at 11 or higher. That's the best way to stop. There we go. Perfect. Um, so you are going to need the street cred 11 or higher, but it's going to be one of the better sniper rifles that you can get. And as I mentioned, the earlier you buy it, the better it's going to, or the cheaper it's going to be to purchase. Like right now with my current level, it's going to cost me a hundred thousand eddies to be able to purchase this 179 dps we've got increased critical chance increased critical damage uh, better charge time burn chance and headshot damage multiplier of three which is really good you're going to be able to one shot a lot of enemies with this and it's got plenty of mod spots to be able to add things to it now we also do have a machine gun here which is pretty expensive uh, this is a legendary one so you can pick that up if you so desire 
Now, while you're in the area, you should head over to this location just to the east. There's going to be a gig here, and inside of here is going to be a really nice epic pistol that you can get. There's going to be quite a few dudes that you got to explode, so just be a little bit careful of that. Uh, but to the left of that van, you're going to find the DR5 Nova here. 190.6 DPS on this particular revolver. Uh, just keep an eye out for all the dudes that are around. Take them out when you can. You know what? This guy deserves to be lit up like a Christmas tree with our legendary Katana. I've been looking for him. I couldn't figure out where he was. Oh, you dead, son. I don't know what happened. So while this pistol that you get is only epic quality, it does a ton of damage, especially to headshots. You can put a nice little scope on here to make that quite a bit easier. And good... Is there somebody in my butt? Jesus! Where did you come from? I didn't even hear anybody behind me. At least take me to dinner before you enter me like that. Jesus. Ooh, Lenny Hine. Who are you, homie? Oh, Jesus. Oh, you're going to have some good gear, aren't you? You get back here. So you can find these, like, legendary fights, I guess I would call them, throughout the map as well. And these will drop various upgrades for your character. Dude, why do you keep running? I'm going to shotgun you here in a second if you don't stop running from me. There we go. Ah, so this guy has got padded strappers with aluminum inserts for our legendary boots. This guy's going to be in the same area. He's also got a decent shotgun on him, so a powered double-barrel shotgun. And a farewell letter found on the attacker. He was out here just killing a whole bunch of these dudes, but if we pull open this map, there's going to be one of these quests that's just nearby as well. And these quests in general, these like exclamation points or the question marks, are going to be good locations to find rare, epic, and legendary loot, as well as any of these blue icons like this, are just going to be good places to scout in general for items. Now I do hope you all enjoyed today's episode and hopefully you enjoy the weapons that you found from this video even more. But thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next one.